Jasmonic acid is a fatty acid derived plant hormone which occurs ubiquitously in plants along with its precursor 12 oxo phytodienoic acid opda and its isoleucine conjugate j isoleucine j regulates diverse processes like photosynthesis root and shoot growth seed germination development flowering reproduction and senescence moreover j triggers the defense responses against biotic or abiotic stress in this module we shall study the biosynthesis metabolism signaling and molecular mechanism of action of this important plant hormone jasmonic acid is synthesized from polyunsaturated fatty acids like alpha linolenic acid present in chloroplast membranes activation of lipase releases fatty acids from the membrane linolenic acid is oxygenated by lipoxygenase or lox to form several types of oxylipins which include jasmonic acid the activity of one such lox called 13 lox gives rise to 13 hydroperoxy octa deca trienoic acid or 13 hpot a hydroperoxide derivative of linolenic acid 13 hpot is subsequently cyclized to yield 2 oxo phytodienoic acid opda by the enzymes allyl oxide synthase aos and allyl oxide cyclase aoc respectively OPDA is transported to the peroxisome via ABC transporters. In peroxisomes, the cyclopentanone ring is reduced by the enzyme OPDA reductase or OPR3 using NADPH as a cofactor. The dihydro 12 oxophytodienoic acid formed undergoes chain shortening through beta oxidation and is finally converted to jasmonic acid. Jasmonic acid is then transported out from peroxisome to cytosol and is further metabolized. Free jasmonic acid in the cytoplasm is conjugated to amino acids or glucose. An enzyme JAR1 was identified using JA resistant mutants which is responsible for forming JA isoleucine conjugates. Subsequently it was seen that j isoleucine conjugate is the main signaling form of j which binds to j receptors jasmonic acid is also methylated by a methyl transferase to form methyl jasmonate a volatile product that serves as a signaling molecule between different plants inactivation of j or j isoleucine occurs by hydroxylation and is mediated by members of the cytochrome p450 family like cytochrome p94 bc and cytochrome p94 c1 inactive j glucose esters have also been detected which are probably the transport forms of j jasmonic acid is rapidly transported through the phloem from wounded tissues where it is synthesized to distal parts of the plant besides jasmonic acid enzymes involved in j synthesis were also shown to be present in both the companion cells and sieve elements since an exchange between solutes carried by phloem and xylem is known to occur some of the j is also transported via the xylem to the leaves methyl jasponate is also transported in a similar manner through the vascular system both jasmonic acid and methyl jasmonate are known to remain inactive till they are converted to the active conjugate j isoleucine at the site of action after having seen how j is synthesized metabolized and transported we shall study how j signaling takes place to give rise to j responses one of the most striking j response is against wounding 
that is caused by leaf eating insects or grazing animals. JA biosynthesis is also triggered in response to wounding and the wound response peptide cystamine is known to activate enzymes of the JA biosynthesis pathway. JA in the form of JA isoleucine is known to activate genes coding for proteinase inhibitors or amino acid catabolizing enzymes. These proteins show anti-digestive properties and make the plants unpalatable to the herbivores. Let us see how JA acts at the molecular level to bring about changes in gene expression. In the absence of JA, the genes coding for JA response proteins like proteinase inhibitors are not expressed. This is because transcriptional repressors called JAS proteins along with other accessory proteins bind to MYC2 transcription factors. MYC2 transcription factors are activators of JA response gene expression. In the presence of JA isoleucine, JAS proteins are degraded, thereby allowing MYC2 transcription factors to induce expression of JA response genes. JA isoleucine binds to its receptor called COI1, which is an F-box protein in a ubiquitin ligase E3 complex called SCF-COI. This binding changes the conformation of COI1 such that the latter shows an affinity for its substrate, the JAS protein, and binds to it. Subsequently, E3 ligase ubiquitinates the JAS protein and marks it for proteasome-mediated degradation. To summarize, J biosynthesis is seen to involve a complex, highly regulated pathway. The J biosynthesis intermediates like OPDA and J conjugates like J isoleucine are also involved in signaling for J responses. While J isoleucine binds to the F box protein COI1, OPDA is also known to activate J response genes independent of COI1 mediated degradation of JAS repressors. J response genes, when activated, protect plants against biotic and abiotic stress, which makes this hormone of great interest in crop protection.